Hey guys, welcome back to Frenemies. I'm Mian and we're back with more Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So last episode, we left off with Fitz and Gemma being left in space. Uh, the, uh, the Chronicoms, apparently they were, the race was wiped out. Um, there's not, well, I don't know if, how much of them is left. Um, all that's left is what's on the, I don't know how much, how many lived on the, on their planet in the first place. Um, but I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's supposed to have been a lot more than what they have right now. Uh, and they want Fitz to create them a time machine, essentially, so they can go back and save their people. Um, and Simmons, kind of Enoch's idea for Simmons to stay with them, to use his leverage in a sense. Also, she would help him. I'm not sure if, if uh, what, what, um, when Enoch, like, gassed them, or at least when he gassed, en uh, Fitz, I don't know if he did that to sneak them away somewhere just to save them or if he was sorry that he had to that he was that he felt that he had to do this to them I'm not entirely sure and then back on earth we had Sarge talking to May um, we got answers as to why exactly they're there you know the the, the Shrike I believe is what they were called they're they're there to basically destroy the earth <laughs> and they have a creator I don't know if it's a I sort of said monster, but I don't know if he meant like a literal monster or if it was more so just saying that whoever their creator is is like a terrible, terrible person that created these things that destroys the earth. I don't know. Um, he hasn't been able to save a planet since the time he's been fighting them, which I think it's been 100 years or he's just 100 years old. But he's been hunting them for a long time. I think is uh, a lot of throughout a lot of his life. May fought Sarge though near the end and knocked him out and then she's now she's bringing both him and Snowflake Butterfly in uh, and Daisy and the others are back and she doesn't know anything about the fact that you know there's a Coulson look like here on the planet so that should be interesting um, yeah I think those are the main points so we're gonna jump into this episode we've crossed the galaxy more than once <laughs> just to be together so a love like that stronger than any curse <laughs> You and I, we are We're unstoppable, unstoppable together. Gemma Simmons, will you marry me? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> just stop it. I don't know why you won't just tell me. I don't want to. <laughs> Gemma? I don't want to tell you, and you can't make me. Why the heck? You say the human mind is a powerful thing. Well, now we have two of them put together. Let's see what they can do. Dang! We just got the intro, barely. Good lord. Don't be afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm observing. She's I'm adorable. <laughs> Talking Daddy! about... The strange man in my room wants to abduct hey, me and hey, take me... Shut your... <laughs> Shut your- I'll read you the story. <laughs> oh my god! What's it called? That's not a good book, that's a bad book, bad story, very poorly written. Okay, I don't very think- Very poorly written. <laughs> then figure your way out. She's seven. And a half. And a half. Okay, but if Fitz were here, I believe he would say, you are being the absolute worst. You are being, without a doubt, the supreme absolute worst. You are a butt face. Oh, that's charming. What is that? What are you hiding? This is going to be hard to edit. Give it. No, it's our escape plan. Give it. Now. I could boot up an LMD. Maybe Ada. Uh-oh. She can really handle the computation. Don't you dare. <laughs> I knew that would get you back. Reboot the robot that locked us in our last mind prison. Gemma. Mac. He's here. They brought him home. Oh. Mac took your death very hard. Demanded a ceremony. But he was also the first one to help me retrofit the Zephyr for the search. 
No, I don't want you to see this part. I wanted to tell you the right way. I thought you'd want his ring. I missed my own wedding. No, you just haven't had yours yet. Listen, I know it's a lot, but no, you have I to. Can't. It's a miracle you survived. And there was a lot of death, can't, yes, can't, but there was beauty too. What? There's more death than this. What are you doing out of bed? I had to see him. He has to take care of himself. Yeah. You know you do the same thing. What's wrong with Coulson? He didn't know, I forgot! Fitz, he was sick for a long time. He, he hid it from us all. That's, that's too much. I, I gotta get out of here, that's too much. He's out there, isn't he? Then get to work. Yes, sir. Just place is a bit of a mess. Is it? You should see my room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I mean, yeah, whenever. If that happens, I don't care. <laughs> <sighs> oh what? I'll crack. That's ludicrous. I know you've been hearing him. Ugh. You had oh. a pretty bad mental break. Is he in there now? All right, well. And now we're trapped inside your mind with him. Listen. Oh, no. Leopold is coming. Oh, they could not. I'm not going to say it. God, not again. Now he is the absolute worst. Did you think you could play in the shadows without me? Oh, he has a physical state now. Actually, Fitz versus Leopold. Uh oh. What is it? Oh, come on. Get back in your box. A pillow. It was all I had. The body out. That thing. Daddy told me to put my troubles away in the little box. They wouldn't give me up at night. Bad feeling, kind of fear, pain. I would just put them inside the little box, and they would. Nice and neat and cracked. You need therapy. You have some deep, deep pent up issues. It's been a rough year. <laughs> Narnia. Uh, have you not heard the story? Yes, I've heard the story. Don't be weird. Hi. Coulson. Don't be weird. <laughs> I've also recommended you for my team. The field team. Started it, man. Fizz. Where's Leopold? Uh oh, he's gonna show Fizz. up, isn't he? Fizz. I'm here. Yeah, but I figured he was playing. <laughs> Pull them out, Atara. It is the right thing to do. Do not do anything reckless. Beat him up, Enoch. You said this was mine. This isn't real! This isn't real! <laughs> we have a friend. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, dream everything up. Oh! Payback! <laughs> Sort of. Did you back up? Yes, I did. You are I one sick, you twisted right now. piece of work. The true you just cut my heart out with her bone knife. Well, now you know how it feels. At least he was a person. You built a robot. I didn't do girlfriend. that. Well, that's bending the truth. And left to your own devices, turn into.
into a Nazi dictator. Well, I guess we're stuck in here together. Yeah, well, that's what till death do us part means. You don't get a free pass because I've died once already. Hey, don't joke about that. That messed me up. All my damage comes from you. Well, all my pain comes from you. And I'm a lot of one to save you. I'll save you every time or I'll die trying. I don't care. Me too, because I love you. Yeah, well, I love you too. Well, then why are we yelling? I don't know. What the hell? Yep, I saw that happening. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Didn't know you liked that. Didn't know you do that. <laughs> so if we have to spend the rest of our days in this prison together, then so be it. Uh, I'll answer a plan. You won't be together. You'll be. Go, uh! oh, Enoch! Now get the feck out of there fast! Enoch! Yeah! My man! I have taken bold action. You <laughs> must go. Embrace me. Embrace me. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. You have a son. <laughs> I wanted to pray, but I... <laughs> he's okay. <laughs> I bet you a hundred bucks that he busted out of the place. <laughs> Their entire planet was laid waste. And the ones who did it... Are here. They're, They're here? Here, yeah. Yeah, they kind of stuck in my moment there, but yeah, they're here. <sighs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to assume that the outro or the post, the end credit um, logo thing that pops up saying, will uh, Shield return in a moment? Uh, was cut out for some reason again because it happened last at last week. Like I wasn't sure the uh, post credit uh, that there was a post credit still on the show on the episode for my version, but I'm gonna assume that's what that that that, that scene with Daisy and Mac was post credit. I'll check later, but I'm pretty sure I'm about seventy percent sure that that was what that is. Sixty five percent sure. I like that last part, that last bit when <laughs> he was. You know, it was a real dramatic scene that we're kind of used to it having, and then Daisy just bull rushes <laughs> his declaration, or not declaration, but his announcement, causes him to lose rhythm, and he's like, uh, yeah, you, they're here, yeah, you just kind of stepped on my moment there, but whatever. Um, she's just she's like, okay, <laughs> but she doesn't know the full extent. Well, I mean, she, they did wipe out the Chronicon planet, so she knows that, but... I mean, I, she doesn't know. So what they do is they heat up the planet to its melting point. At least that's what they did with the Chronicon planet. I don't know if it's the works the same way with every other planet. But, oh man, that was such an emotionally stressful, overwhelming, draining episode. <sighs> you know, okay, this is the shield that I remember. <laughs> Not that the past few episodes haven't been good. They've been great. But it's just like, last season... Last the few a few uh, the, la the latter half of the episode of the season was like emotionally draining, <laughs> and same thing with season four. Um, and it hasn't been that it hasn't really been that emotionally draining that I've that become that I've come accustomed to with Shield. Um, but this episode really brought it <laughs> tenfold. They were like it was like Gemma. They stored it all in the box and then they just let it out in one moment. Ah man. Uh, I and they even they did the thing. I don't know if that might have been like something for us. No, it couldn't have been. Um, I was gonna say I, I wondering if, I'm wondering if that was like old footage that they didn't keep. Like uh, like when they did last season, they showed um, Ian Quinn with the graviton or gravitonium stuff with uh I forgot her name all of a sudden with the with the lady that I forget that becomes. That you know, the porcupine lady in season two. Um, that was old footage from I guess I think season one, and they put that in, in the fifth season. So I thought I was I was wondering if that was what that was, but then no, that can't be because we had Simmons doing 
lines from for this. So that's not that that can't be that. But yeah, I, I was I didn't the the rest or most of the team or at least um, some of them were like weren't weren't sure they weren't 100% sold get, or get on board the fact that uh, Fitz was still alive, just you know his present body instead of technically his future body. Oh Mac, Mac took it so hard apparently. I mean, I mean yeah, I mean they were. Oh, it was just, uh, season, you know, in the, in the when in the episode that Fitz died, like Mac was, ugh, I mean, Mac and and uh, May, like they were both there, they were both, uh, you know, breaking down because Fitz had just died, but it's just seeing uh seeing uh, Mac like that, it was just it was so heartbreaking, and seeing Fitz, like that whole scene was just, uh just all heartbreaking, com like. Combined to the worst kind of heartbreaking scene. It was just, and then when it shows, you know, Mac go to Simmons, it ends kind of like it transitions to just that uh, to the next thing with the, the I think the engraving on Phil's shield thing, plaque, um, <clears throat> and then we don't really see like in between. And then this is when we see that, um, which I'm glad they did that. But it was just so I didn't even I didn't even think. I didn't even think about, like, throughout this whole season, I don't even think throughout last season, I didn't realize that Fitz doesn't know about Coulson, you know, have, even that he was dying. Like, that, not just the fact that he died, but the fact that he was dying. Like, he didn't, he he didn't know that at all, because the only one that, Fitz knew that, that, that went to the future. This one didn't, was able, <clears throat> the present Fitz, you know, he's the present, he hasn't been able to go into the future, so he didn't learn that. So it's just like, all, he just learned so much like overwhelming information and and a lot of heartbreaking information like the well the the fact that well the one that kind of like was causing him to uh hyperventilate was the you know seeing himself dead which yeah that would freak out pretty much anybody um and then <clears throat> finding out oh man when it oh that's like just even though I know he was alive just like seeing that scene not not the part with Phil yet but like the part where we're showing everybody, you know, together and grieving about Fitz, Daisy, all of them. It, that was just, like, hurting so much. But then whenever uh, Phil came in, seeing him like that, seeing the old Phil, and uh, that, that was – that really got to me. And then the fact that seeing Fitz realize it and me realizing that he didn't know that and then all of a sudden he's dead to Fitz. There, you know, yeah, he didn't. He had no time with with Coulson. He's just dead. Like he was with him at the, the diner last, and then that was it. That was his last memory of Phil. Of, God, that's so that's so heartbreaking. I'm gonna say that a lot. I think this this is a discussion, but God, he had no idea. They at least had some kind of race. I mean, a lot of them were. Well, they were well, most of them. All of them were trying to find a way to save Coulson, except, well, Yo-Yo, not that she didn't want to, but, you know, she was, the, you know, save Coulson, save the world thing. Or save Coulson, or or save the world, that's what it was. Um, so she was trying to, you know, save the world, and she hated the fact that she was having to let Coulson die, but she was making the, the it was a hard call. Everybody else was trying to, they're, like, the hardest to find a way to keep him alive. They weren't accepting the fact that it was gonna, like he was saying he's not gonna die. We're gonna stop this. Um, but still, they had the knowledge. Fitz didn't, and then all he knows now that he's dead. Oh, man. And at the beginning of this, I was thinking yeah, at least they're finally together. <laughs> at the very beginning. I was, and then, God dang it. And I did not. I should have. I should. There's so many things I should have realized, but I, I. Leopold, I didn't even think about him being here. I mean, he's in his mind, and they're in. They're sharing, you know, they're sharing a mind right now. You know, basically they're sharing. They're sharing a dreamscape kind of a thing. And the doctor being part of him is just, you know, part of his mind still. That that part's gonna have a physical embodiment now that they're inside a dreamscape and not just out, not just in the in the, in the real physical world where something will snap inside of him, which will allow the doctor to essentially take place of Fitz for the time being. And then Simmons had that pent all anger and every all the negative emotions pent up bottled into that box. Or <laughs> Fitz, whenever he was saying, I, didn't have, I had no idea you had that all this, like, 
hold you hold, you had all that hold ugh, I can't talk you had all that and you were you were holding on to all that Jesus I can't I cannot and then she gets him back with you, you know you know what what's the point of them seeing that that's a, that that's the reason for keeping it all bottled up so that he don't see and he just goes you're you're so English I was kind of what thinking that maybe there was gonna be a thing between Leopold and Gemma's monster thing but um I wasn't sure, I didn't uh, it was either that or they were gonna attack each other and kill each other, but apparently it was the, it was the former, uh, and, and it was it was weird. It was interesting. Fitzsimmons apparently found some the stuff out that they didn't realize about it. He, I think he, I know he said um, I didn't know you were you were into that, and then I think she said I didn't know I could do that. I think. Nope, wrong again. <laughs> Oh man, little little Simmons, she was so adorable. <laughs> and I just love how how Fitz was handling the situation. She was not <laughs> he doesn't deal with kids very well. Um and not, not yet anyway. I mean I'm assuming he does better when he has his own kid. Wait, did Deke know that Fitz died? Cause I know he said whenever excuse me, the episode where they found Deke or where we where we saw Deke again. Which we haven't seen him since, now that I think about it. But that episode, um, he said, how, how are Fitz and Simmons? Or how are grandparents? Did he say, how are, how are the grandparents? Is that what he said? So, uh, and I th yeah, because I think he left before they came back and, with, and saying that Fitz died. But he didn't even know. So this will be interesting for him. Um, he didn't even have to grieve for that. <laughs> and I love seeing... Like young, not y younger Fitzsimmons, not like <clears throat> like eight year olds, but like they're when they were still at the academy. Oh, it was so reminiscent of season one. It's so crazy see, just looking back at how things. It, it was so cool, like seeing the beginning of like the team. You know, Coulson recruiting them. It was so cool seeing healthy uh, younger Coulson. Oh, dang, I miss I miss the team, man. I mean. I know we have the team technically still, but I just miss them being together. Not nobody being dead. Colson's still alive, healthy and strong. Ugh. I miss it so much. But that, I love seeing them. It was just I know season one wasn't like a lot of people didn't like season one, especially like especially the majority of the first part, but I didn't I personally didn't have a huge issue with it. Like it, <clears throat> it was kinda corny and, and silly, but I mean it was fun. <laughs> I, I didn't think it was that big of a deal that it wasn't like that. It, there wasn't a huge uh, overarching plot yet. Um, if it can, I mean, I probably would still watch it. it. I wouldn't probably be as invested, maybe after like once it got its footing and everything. But still, I mean, it was a fun show. But I, I, I just miss like seeing how kind of lighthearted they were. Uh, and you know, obviously, again, nobody was dead. Oh, but Enoch, my boy, my boy Enoch, I knew, I was hoping that he was going to do something. When she said, you know, what she said, side with, uh, fight with, with us, or basically, either stay with us or you get dismantled. And he, what he, he said, he, uh, he's taken bold action. <laughs> I love that. I have taken bold action. Oh, Enoch, you are the best man. Best friend. I'm so happy. <laughs> um, that's gonna be bad though, because they're probably gonna come back here, right? Like, they. Oh, I mean, I'm sure they can handle the hunters. Now that Daisy's, they're gonna go there, and Daisy will be there. Max, a big guy, so maybe he can handle the the hunters as well. I don't know. I think they'll have a better better chance with them being on on their turf this time instead of hunting them while they're in space. <clears throat> they have much more uh, backup than they did when they were in space as well because before it was just Piper, Davis, Daisy, um, Simmons. Daisy is like, you know, a heck of a weapon. But again, if there's they if there's too many, it's going to be a hassle. But uh, now they have the rest of the the rest of the agents. <laughs> I forgot he said that. Uh, when he threw the, the teleporting disc, whatever, down, he's like, embrace me. <laughs> just eat, I mean... I, how can you hate Enoch? I mean, I know he kind of sort of screwed you over and he put you in this mess in the first place, but, I mean, 
he's just so funny. <laughs> he's just so awkward and and it's just it's great. I love him so much. I'm so glad he's back and that he's not gonna. Well, I don't. I don't want to jinx things, but I'm glad he's not dead. <laughs> um, God, I really hope he doesn't die. Uh. Um, I th okay, but yeah, that's all I have. Man, I loved, loved, loved this episode so much. It was great. It was amazing. It was draining, which I've kind, ooh, geez, which I've kind of missed. Uh, like I, it's it's so exhausting if it's when it's constant. But I mean, worth it, worth it every time. Um, I, I feel like this. Now again, I want to reiterate. I've enjoyed the last few episodes like last i think last episode not, not including this one was my favorite i think was it yes i trying to remember which one, what happened last episode but it's just this feels like it has a this one has more for it like there was just that the, like i said earlier it has the exhausting draining element that last la, uh, latter part of last season had and same thing for la, the fourth season Oh man, I'm really hoping it kind of keeps the momentum from here. You can see we're at episode six, right? So we should have seven episodes left. Um, let me make sure. <laughs> uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, seven. So let me make sure. God, it was just the the every scene with uh, there. Uh, Ian Kasker and Elizabeth Henstridge. I think uh, it's hard to choose a favorite actor amongst this group they're just i love them so much i mean ming na wen i love her uh clark greg uh, chloe henry i don't like the main cast is just i love them so much henry simmons he's just such a sweet guy he's massive and he's just it's just he, he's i hate seeing that guy cry man i hate it just hurts it hurts my heart and then ugh, the fit simmons scenes though i think that was i mean that was the main it was mainly on them. I think it was only the the after the post credit, if that was the post credit scene that was not dealing with them. But uh, God, it was such a it was such a great episode. I'm, I'm excited. We're we're all everybody's on Earth now, unless we some reason make a, a pit stop somewhere. I don't know if Enoch's taking us back to Earth quite yet. But assumedly, we're all going to be on Earth, so it's all going to be focused on the team now. Everybody's together. We can deal with Sarge. Fitz is going to have to see not. Coulson after finding out Coulson's dead, because I don't think, because yeah, uh, not, uh, da uh what doesn't say Daisy, Simmons doesn't know about other Coulson either, because I don't did, did uh, Mac, because they didn't show it, but I don't th did, I don't know if Mac told Daisy about Sarge, um, because the last episode ended with him you know, saying uh, May brought him, they caught she caught him, and then Daisy's like caught who, and then it just ends there, so we don't know. If he told her, I'm assuming he did, but he did tell her about the Shrike. Well, he doesn't know what they are. Maze better tell them. But everybody's back. So I'm excited. But yeah, guys, that's it for this amazing episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to check out the rest of our stuff, go into the button right next to it, or next to me. And if you want to stick around for next week's episode, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified whenever our videos come out, go ahead and put the bell icon down below. Again, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you next week.